name is Radhaka. And my name is Tunjaka. And welcome to Storytime. Have you ever wondered where our Devi Murthy came from or why she is here? Yeah. This video is going to tell you the story of how the Sri Raja Jishri Murthy came to the temple. Back in 1984, Devotees and other evolved swamis from the Shingeri Vidya Bharati Foundation temple located in Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania, traveled to India. They were a part of the Sharda Pitam located in the Pocanos Mountains. This Pitam was founded by Lakshmi Devi, a disciple of Narsimha Bharati in Shringeri. They were eager to install a Sri Raja Jishri Murti in their temple. They wanted to have their Devi that was as grand and beautiful as the Devi in the Rajarajishri temple in Bangalore. Traditionally in South Asian temples, Mula Murtis, Mula meaning main, and Murti meaning statue in Sanskrit are made of granite. Granite is a material that can hold energy for thousands of years and we want to keep the energy of the Devi for the years to come. In 1984, the Sri Raja Rajeshwari Murthy was sculpted by Muttaya Stapati. A Stapati is an expert who sculpts from earthly material like granite or marble. The Devi was sculpted and brought to Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania. The Pitam was then managed by Devi Parvati, who was also a disciple of Narsimha Bharati. In 1989, Aya heard about the Sharda Pitam and he, along with other disciples, visited this place. Her magnificence attracted everybody and many more visits followed. On the second visit, Aya and Amma performed a Sri Chakra Puja. And in the middle of the puja, a little girl tapped him on the shoulder and told him in Tamil, Uncle, I'm coming with you. Once the puja concluded, Aya went to look for the little girl with no luck. No one had seen her except for Aya. Devi Parvati asked Aya if he could come again to do puja. He agreed. On the next visit, Devi Parvati asked if she could have a word with Aya. She expressed that the Pitam is going to get shut down due to a lack of funds and asked if he would take the Devi. Aya was shocked at the request and said he could not make a decision without talking to his Guru. Guruji is also known as Amrita Nanda Nada Saraswati. Aya called Guruji who was living in Vishakapatnam and conveyed the incident to him. He asked, what do I do? The phone went silent. Then Guruji told Aya, If the Divine Mother wants to come to your house, who are you to stand in the way? Let her come. Four months later, on January 19, 1991, Aya, Guruji, and a couple devotees went to the Poconos Mountains to assist with the move of the Murti from the Stroudsburg Sharada Pitam to Aya's Pitam in 33 Park Circle. When an energized murti has to be moved, the energy has to be withdrawn and then reinstalled at the new place in the murti. Guruji performed the pranipratishta, which is the withdrawal and the reinstallation of the energy. We usually refer to this as invoking life. Aya continued to perform pujas in 33 Park Circle. As time passed, more and more people came for the pujas to see, touch, and bathe in the grace of the Sri Raja Rajeshwari Devi. Now, it was time to find a bigger place to accommodate all the devotees. In 1998, Aya went searching for a property and stumbled upon a barn on 6980 East River Road. He fell in love with the property and it fit the characteristics of a proper location for a temple. It is said that the best place for a pitam is where cows and horses have roamed, contains fruit trees, flower plants, and a river. This property had all these features. In May of 1998, the Devi was moved from 33 Park Circle to 6980 East River Road in Rush, New York, where she resides today. The process of prana pratishta was done by Aya and a very strong devotee by the name of Sagar Aya. 
The Devi is now worshipped and adorned by many devotees around the world. Thanks to Devi's grace, Ayanam Ma, we are now able to worship the Devi in a more personal way and learn and spread the knowledge of Shri Vidya. And soon the Divine Mother herself will have a permanent home in the new granite temple to share her grace for the years to come. The moral of the story is, just like how the Devi went through many journeys to get where she is now, life is all about going through many ups and downs to get to where you are meant to be. Thank you for watching. See you next time.